Hey guys, good morning. I was going to do a video of like my entire morning thing and then I got started and then I got screwed up so it got stopped. Um, so I'm going to catch you up really quick on what all I have done and then I'm going to go from there. And I don't know if you guys can hear my radio or if you can hear me even. So I will try to be as descriptive as I can in the text for this video. But this would be a prime example of why I do not do makeup tutorials. Um, we're going to see how long it takes. And we're going to see how much I remember to tell you guys. So, <laughs> my morning routine is a shower. Body butter. Uh, my last body butter was Indigo Girl. And my current body butter, my new body butter, because this is amazing is going to be this happy, hard day's night, um, happy days would have been better, hard day's night, uh, this smells incredible, the Indie Go Girl was whipped, so it wasn't as oily, and I loved that, this is my little, like, bedside table, and this is where my body butter goes, this is my new replacement, but this one is just a lotion, I don't know if you guys can see, you can see that oily, right, okay. So, but it smells, I wish there was like a smell feature on cameras where you could like click it and it just like absorbs a little bit, you know? That's what smells amazing. Ooh, I want to sneeze. Okay. So when I get out of the shower, I lather up with my body butter. When I go to do my makeup, I usually start with just the vitamin C brightening serum, but, I don't know if you guys can see that, these are the little samples that come in my subscription packs, they're these little bottles, okay, and this is, this is in the little bag, the little zippy bag that I made, um, that I've been showing you guys, Matthew, would you do me a favor, would you come and grab one of these? bags off the top of this cabinet. Right there, the physicals on them, buddy. Thank you. Um, okay, so this is my little zippy that I was telling you about. This is one of them. So this is the sample that comes in one of these, if you, if this happens to be one of your samples. Um, just, uh, I'll just throw that in there really quick, right? Um, after I do this, if I'm gonna do it, I also do, this is another sample, I had to break into this one because mine was out, but this is the A New Shadow Erase, which is the dark circles, and I have not been sleeping because I have been working constantly and playing with my kids and then cleaning, so... <laughs> I'm extremely busy, and I, my dark circles were getting to be a bit much, so I did use that this morning as well. Um, I don't always use that. I do use it periodically, but not all the time. This is like an everyday, every night thing that I use. I have a big bottle somewhere, and I don't feel like I remember what bag I put it in. So, um, after all of that sets for a little while, this is my tester bottle, but um, the Avon Magic... This is a face perfecter, and it has a little bit of sunscreen in it, so, <clears throat> so I use this on days when I'm going to be walking and going out and stuff. Again, this isn't something that I use all the time. I don't like a lot of oil and lotion and stuff on my face. I don't like the feeling of it. I don't even use foundation most of the time because I don't like the feeling of it. Um... This does also calm down some of my freckles. I know I made another video, and I was even shocked at how dark some of my freckles were. It looked like I had big specks of dirt all over my face, no matter what filter, even on just no filter. It looked like dirt, but they're freckles. And I don't know why that happened, but sometimes this tends to bring those darker ones down a little bit, and it makes them blend in a little more, which is nice. I love my freckles, so I don't wear dark foundation that deletes them. But sometimes you got to calm them down when you look like you have four or five black freckles and then all the rest of them are brown. It's awkward. <laughs> but after that, I usually go to a lip balm 
I am currently using the Latin Love. I hopefully I'm going to be getting another one soon because these are amazing. I love these. They keep your lips super moisturized, but they, again, everything with Posh just smells so good. I, I can never stop smelling Posh stuff. It, I love, they have great fragrances. Whoever sits in there and thinks of what to smell, that guy's got an awesome job. So congratulations to you, bro. After I put that on, um, while I let my mouth kind of just enjoy, then I move on to my eyeliner, which I don't want to put upside down. I am using the Avon True Color Always on Point because this little pencil is incredible. So I'm going to show you this part, right? <clears throat> okay, so now that you guys watched all that boringness, and now you can see this is one eye. This is nothing on this eye. This eyeliner pencil is amazing. I mean, from way back here, you can see a full difference in my eyes. Um, I love these pencils. I am a perfectionist, so yeah, you had to watch me go over and over and over again. Alright, now, this pencil. This pencil is amazing, okay? You see how dull we're at right now? Okay? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You take the lid. Put the lid on. You twist it back into place, okay? Twist your lid back off. And boom, you now have a point. If that's not pointy enough for you, you can put it back in, twist it again, it will sharpen it. Now listen, as I just said that, if you take the pencil out and you put it in, once you take it out, if that's not sharp enough for you, then you can do it one more time. Once you crank this thing three times and you have pushed it out three times, from where I had it before. If it's flat at the end and it's got a point, or a, and it's got a little mouth, it will break off, most likely. So you've now wasted your eyeliner. Don't do that. Crank it once, crank it twice, and try. Try not to crank it more than three times, because you're going to waste a lot of eyeliner. It is sharpening it, whether you think that you notice it or not. It's getting sharpened, but the more you put it in and close it, 
and open it and don't use it, the longer it's going to get and the more likely you are going to be to break your pencil. These are great pens. Don't waste them. This is going to be one of the things that I give away on August 15th when one of my kids makes a drawing out of our Avon giveaway. You're going to get my eyeliner and I believe a nail polish. Okay, and for my 90s eyeliner girls, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this because I don't know how well the camera is, but those of you that do the eyeliner in here, I don't know if you see. Yeah, I see this one little section right here. All right, so it works really well, even on the tip of the lid for you, uh, for you old 90s, 90s girls. All right, now, again, I used it down, okay? Now look, if you are at this point right here, where there is just the smallest little piece, I don't know just the smallest little little bump off the tip. I don't need to go more than one twist with that. I will be able to use it after just one twist. So I'm going to close my pencil and I'm going to put my pencil back in my bag. Because now I'm done. My eyes are done. My eyeliner is on. I'm good. So I am not going to be touching that pencil again. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to... Oh, I'm so excited. While I was putting my eyeliner on, the doorbell rang, and my bag keys showed up, so I can finally get my chunks and my snarkies all sample sized out. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, the snarkies. So, my mascara i love this i've said this i think i've done like three videos on this mascara alone the avon mega effects with the bendy brush i love this okay you can this brush is just amazing All right, don't judge me because I always forget about the look up and look. I always forget at least once during doing my makeup. <laughs> no, I want to forget. Okay, you look up to do the bottom lashes. I'm so bad at makeup. I don't <laughs> remember. This is why I don't do makeup tutorials. Right, right, right. And then you look down to do, to do the top. <laughs> Mascara fucks me up every time. Please stop hitting him, Rain. Alright, so
So that is, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the one that has the mega effects on. You can see how much curlier it is, how round it is. <laughs> okay, well, I have my face on, basically, because I have my eyes done. I have my eyeliner, and I have my mascara, and that is all I use. So the last thing that I do is usually my lips, and I have a very, very, very short list of choices. Um, very particular about my lips. So I will show you guys. I go from pinks, very bright, very bright pinks. That looks purple to you guys. Um, it is a fearless fuchsia. Sorry, it's very little. Uh, if it is not a bright, bright pink, like Fearless Fuchsia, then it is a very deep... I'm sure you've all seen that one on me. My vamp. That is, um... That's another one of my favorites. And that goes really well with the Glimmer Sticks Lip Liner in Plum, which is the other thing that you'll be getting in the giveaway. Um you're going to get the Plum Glimmer Sticks Lip Liner. So, get excited because you're going to get an eyeliner and a lip liner if you win the giveaway on the 15th. So, make sure you're paying attention to Facebook because it's going to be a live drawing that my kids are going to do, and I will repost the video to YouTube, um, Instagram, and probably Twitter. But the winner will be contacted via email, and then your winnings will be shipped directly out. There's going to be one winner from Avon and one winner from Posh. Um, this is the Glimmer Stick lip liner that I'm going to be using today, and it is the Avon True Color, and it is the Nude. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. Mommy doesn't have any grip. So that's the nude lip liner. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but when I put on the nude lip liner, I, while my bottom lip still looks bigger, that's from scar tissue from running into the back of the flat bed when I was a kid. Um, it's also why I have that Elvis lip thing when I talk. The scar tissue is all over here. Um, sorry. But my top lip, it's like a bird lip, and it just kind of disappears once the nude lip, lip liner goes on. Now, this is the it's the nude truffle I don't know if you guys are able to read oh, those little lids will get you right. so 
What is that? Can you guys... Huh? Yeah, the computer is going to talk back to me now. This is the new truffle. They're so cute, they're so hard to handle. But they make that perfect top point. So, that is how my morning goes. And then these True Color Hydrating Lipsticks and these True Color Moisturizing Lipsticks these lipsticks, they stay on all day. The color stays, even when the feeling of the of the moistureness and like the glossy part goes away, the color is still there. It'll even fade to a lip liner by itself, to where you just have this cute little ombre look going. So I love these because when this starts to fade off, if I don't have the other one or if I'm if I can't find where I sat my my big lipstick it's so easy to just go back and grab my lip balm which is always in my pocket or right in my purse and to toss it on and it gives the same color right back that same shine because this is really shiny so when my color starts to fade out this will bring back the shine and I don't have to go and reapply that that lipstick you know and I love that so I carry all of that stuff with me and then now that I'm all done and I've done stuff like this to my hands I get rid of all of that, and I have to finish out always with a You Deserve It hand cream because I do not do makeup very often, and this has a citrusy smell, which is like, it's like a, it has, I think it's Sicilian orange, so it's got like this citrusy smell, and citrus is my favorite, orange smell is my favorite. So, I do deserve it. I deserve to have my favorite smell after I wasted 20 minutes of my day to put makeup on. Since I really don't wear makeup that often. <laughs> but, not only that, I don't have anywhere to go, you know? I'm going to go for a walk and I'm going to sweat like a rat because it's Florida. So, all this is going to go to waste. <laughs> but I feel really good. And the smell of this Big Fat Yummy is just incredible. Incredible. So, I hope that my makeup tutorial was either entertaining, educational, or, uh, you know, at least helpful in some way. And if it wasn't, well, then I'm really sorry that you wasted 23 minutes of your time. And I hope that you come back and do it again on my next video.